because I bought this scale separate and not as part of a kit, there's no fittings for it. Um, they're the nearest thing I've got to go through there and they're sticking up proud. So I have to take a little bit, probably off, a little bit off the shoulder and a little bit off the head, I think, to get them to go down through there nice and level. I've got nothing else suitable. So I'll have a little good machine in them. Get that screwed on and I can glue the tape on, put the stainless steel protector strip in. And that's the first part of the job sort of done. I found some 6mm button head Allen bolts which are just a fanny's hair too long or too, the drum's too high. I wonder if I can just tweak a little bit off there, just enough so I can tighten them. Tighten them in, it won't take much to hold it in place. That's fine, that's done with enough. That's spot on, there's enough there to get an iron key and tighten them up. Happy with that. I'm going to put a little bit of Loctite on these because once they're in and tight and the magnetic strip is glued on, but obviously you can't get to the you can't get to the nuts anymore. Just to make sure that the one. They won't come loose, but this just makes sure that they can't come loose. People will be saying that's a wrong Loctite. It's the one I've used for the last 10 years and I've had no problems with it. Hey, everything's still nicely lined up. There's enough metal on that head to still be able to hold it and get them tight and fully. That drill just wants to cut my hand, I can tell. Interestingly, clamp I bought one or two. Whenever I see them, I buy them at car boot sales. Some of them are homemade, like yeah, maybe an apprentice job. It's got a little V spring in there. It's a really, really handy. I've got them in different sizes. I've got one with a George pivot. Handy for holding things for welds and whatever. Definitely below, below, below. So that. I'm happy with that now. It's going to be cleaned. A little bit of brake cleaner here. Rags anywhere, quite happy with that. That's the magic tape that glues onto there. 
it's incredible when you think what that does compared to the glass and the the paraphernalia that was on here I'm going to read the instructions before I stick it on just to make sure all it says is degrees out and carefully glow it in place which is exactly what I'm going to do see it there, back and off, 3M is really good stuff if you want glue, 3M is probably the, the best on the market for adhesives and tapes and abrasive materials as well and that's in now I would imagine you can buy the, the tape separate um, the magnetic tape separate and as a stainless steel strip goes in there that goes in there and there's two rubber or a rubber gasket that holds that into place and that's basically all there is to it goes into there and just locks that stainless steel protect that in place green neat and tidy once I get this in I'm going to plug the reed head into the into the control console and make sure it actually works It'll just give you enough, just enough I should only cut that in half before I put it in a little bit shorter than that end or not make any difference I wouldn't have thought That's gone in there quite nicely. Right. Right, I've got the encoder plugged in. That goes into there with a little bit of clearance. And that is working absolutely splendid. This is completely sealed so there's nothing, no crap can get in there. I think that's what actually happened to the other one. It had, uh, it had water in and was full of swarf and shite, which is probably why it stopped working. But I'm very, very happy indeed with that. The reed here goes like that. That's it fully down. And I've got these two studs here, so basically a piece of aluminium plate bolted into those two onto there with some. The wash has a little bit of adjustment, should do the job. Put a little pattern piece behind there, it's going to be between 0 0.1 and 1 mil clearance. And we know it's running all nice and true and square, so that's going to be quite simple. And then the, the cable will just loop around there. And I think it's better doing it that way than having it going into the top. Um, yeah, cable at the bottom like that. I've made a little mountain for the reed head, couldn't you simple just a flat piece of alloy, it's bolted into there and I've slung uh, sort of the holes in there so I can vary the distance in and out and those nuts vary the distance forward and backwards. Once I get it set up I will make solid steel tubes to go on there instead of bits of thread and rod. But that's what I said about the last one yeah, a year ago. This is 0.8mm thick jointing paper or gasket paper just to set the space up between the reed head and the magnetic scale it's between 0 0.2 and 1 mil I think they're allowed to have so that's right in the centre 
and the spacing looks good. And that's going to be fine. I'll probably put a protector around it, but it's completely sealed. It doesn't matter if you get white water on there, it won't hurt anything. It's totally sealed. Much, much simpler than the, the way I've been, by the scales I've used in the past. Right now, for the all important bit, I've plugged it into the back of the console, and that's working absolutely splendid. I put a riser block in this to get more travel, and it was actually possible to screw the lead scroll to the nuts, so I did make a longer lead screw as well. If I did it again, I would use a ball, ball nut instead of a acne nut to make it easier to wind up and down. It's obviously going to get full travel. Goes nowhere near up to there. There's the three inputs. That's obviously the new one without the adapter. One thing I have noticed, the main power cable is in a bad way. That's we're constantly moving the head in and out. I'll have to do something with that, that's not good. Just straightforward kettle type lead. I've got a few of them like a computer lead, I'll change that. Still got plenty of access for the the lock on the Z axis. See some steel tubes made the spoon in their space. I can sell the bits of studding, but there's no flex on it, it's a really good solid mountain. This is the company that supplied the scale, uh, MDRO, Machine DRO. Comes with comprehensive instructions, some pictures just to get you going, different setups. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get any bracket rule mangles, I just bought the scale, but I managed to make bits and pieces up to do the job. Really are helpful. You can speak to somebody here and they actually know what they're talking about. They've actually fitted DROs to machines, so there's no problem that you're going to come across that the one sort out for you, help you sort out. And I did pay for the scale, it's not a freebie, so that's an honest opinion of MDRO. Once again, it's time to see you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Anyway, thanks for watching.